everyone, welcome back to episode 63 of One Piece Dungeons and Dragons. Happy birthday, Noble. Happy 63rd birthday. Um, I'm here, of course, with Noble Duros Lost Paws. Hello, everybody. I'm Eugene. I'm here with <laughs> William Tekking 101. I'm, I'm William. What food are you eating, Noble? Panda. Oh, I just had Panda. It was delicious. Let's go. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, we should, like, make out. Panda's great. Like, right now. Okay, let's go. Come on. <laughs> um, I'm, here, I'm here with Verona uh, Double Spooky. Pandas are endangered animals. Don't eat them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm also... I made a whole panda. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also here with Bald Briggs. Ragnar. I'm Bob Briggs. Wow. He's Bob Briggs. What up, boys? Uh, sorry for the delay on this episode. I tore my ACL apart. I went skiing. I was skiing down the mountain, going a little bit too fast. I s hit an ice bump, started hurtling down the mountain on one leg, uh, the f trying to stop myself before I went off the edge. Uh, the force of it ripped my ACL apart. I went to the doctors the next day, like, oh, this is swollen. I hope I can ski again. And they were like, we need an MRI scan. I got driven to a place for an MRI scan. And then the doctor came out. He sat me in a room. He looked me in the eyes and he said... German or English? And I said, English. And he went, oh no, I can't speak English. <laughs> and, and then he picked up a, a plastic model of a knee, pointed at the muscle, in the, the tendon inside of the knee. Then he ripped up a piece of paper and then pointed at me. And then said, you need surgery. <laughs> and that same day I had surgery to repair my ACL and I was in hospital for a little bit. And then I have been just sort of recovering for the first like two or three, also weeks i couldn't really be in my computer for long periods of time because i had to be like keep my here's the brace by the way Woo! that's evidence Woo! um yeah. i had to keep my leg straight and uh now i can bend at 60 degrees which means i can sit comfortably at my computer which means we're back and we're back to one piece D and it should be good from now on but yes that is um that's so what that's happened the to Aust me. that's the austrian medical system that's how they do it okay yeah good to know they like to good they to kept know. making jokes at me like yeah like, like did that actually happen or were you just bullshit no no that actually like, happened oh the, my god yeah uh, and when they were shaving my leg <laughs> which is something they have to do <laughs> they uh, have to do that this yeah. woman was shaving my leg and the other one was like giving me some like uh, a tube in my arm and this old lady was like oh you've got two women looking after you what a lucky man <laughs> and i was just like i felt so awkward <laughs> <laughs> and they kept okay. making the thing is they have a sense of humor as in they definitely make jokes and <laughs> kept happening like they would give me these pajamas and be like oh look at these sexy pajamas you're gonna wear and I'm like oh, god <laughs> <laughs> I mean um, did it take your mind off the torn ACL I mean no. I guess if it did then I mean, the guy before I went into anesthetic, the guy was like, "I have to take, I had to take injections afterwards to prevent thrombosis." Um, and the guy looked me in the eyes, and I told Noble this before. Um, he said, uh, "Most young people don't die during the surgery; they die because they forget to take their injections." And I was like, "Okay, <laughs> I'll take my injections." Uh, it just and, seems like I don't know, man. That's yeah. And the surgeon then came out afterwards to explain what he was going to do, and he he said to me, "We are going to repair your ACL, and it, um, if we if we can't, we are going to remake it by using a skin graft. I will let you know what I do when you wake up." <laughs> and I was like, okay. You just drastically different. You you wake up with a fucking cyborg <laughs> knee, like okay. And we just decided to do this. I'm like, all right. Um, but they were all very lovely. It. I, I, I woke up and um and they all they needed to do was repair it. And I should be okay. better soonish. But there you go, there's my little torn ACL Daniel Rostage. Shit. Um Don't go skiing, kids. Don't go skiing. No, skiing's fun. Go skiing yeah. again. You have to like strap on you everything it takes. You can too tear long. your ACL yeah. like giving a piggyback to someone. Like it's it just happens sometimes. Don't don't give piggybacks to people. Just there don't do goes. anything. Anyway, we are back. <laughs> in doing One Piece Dungeons and Dragons. Where we left off, it was about 5 p.m. 6, 5 p.m. It was like early evening time. Um, and you guys had just walked in on the dead body of Louis LeClock, time traveler Louis. Um, and, well, Duras did at least. You guys are still outside waiting for Duras yeah, to report yeah. back. Um, and that's it. That, that was it. That's where we finished. So I thought we got reset again. No, you haven't no, not yet. yet. Not yet. That's not that's yet. gonna happen like three hours. So, <laughs> so we gotta finish this off in three hours. We gotta, <laughs> yeah, we gotta save all to... our cool shit that we got. Yep. Yeah. Keep all our stuff and go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so, so Duros is gonna 
turn to the uh, officer and is like, I, I do know that man. All right, good. What's his name? It is Louis LeClock. Mm, never heard of him. Where does he live? Damn, I was hoping you would know. <laughs> <laughs> that flowed so well. Just <laughs> ah, never heard of him. Uh, where did he live? Well, I, I couldn't tell you. I was hoping you would tell me. No, we couldn't identify the body, unfortunately. Um, but this Louis... Um, LeClock's a weird last name, but this Louis, unfortunately, he's deceased. Does he have any relatives that we can, uh, send well, the body to? He, he used to be part of our crew, so I... Is there anything? Crew? Guess... Are you sort of like a street gang? Or should I be uh, worried? No, friends. You know what friends oh, are, Oh, like right? a friend crew. All right. You, yeah. you youngins with your slang. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably about the same age as this guy. <laughs> yeah, probably. I would just... Hey, you're a 30 man year old, sir. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy looks like probably like late 30s, early 40s. Oh, okay. Well, I guess he could. Yeah, he's a little bit older then. Yeah. Uh, well, well then, uh, is there anything else you, you need me for then, sir? Is there anything I can. I don't know. Do you, we don't. Do you know we have... He was even murdered by one sharp blade in the back. Straight through the heart. Maybe a rapier of some kind. Strange murder weapon, but we couldn't find the actual sword itself. Interesting. Sharp blade through the back. Who would want him dead? I don't know. We'll get our best <laughs> detectives on it, but uh, if you have nothing else you want to do with the body, pay your last respects. We're going to have to ask you to leave. Uh, let me see if he had anything on him, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind? Yeah, well, if you mind, I, I would like to watch, you know, just in Yeah, case. no worries. I understand, officer. Yeah, I don't, understand. I don't want you to tamper with the body too much, but... I don't... I, I just want to make sure, just in case it had any motivations or something. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and I'm just going to investigate, I guess. Yeah, I guess this do an investigation roll? I guess, I guess yeah. yeah. Why not? That's the best know, I can do. You know what? Now let me exit out of my Investigate other the corpse of our friend the from the future. D &D. Uh, oh, friend from the future. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. All right. Uh, we go to... Ooh, how good is Duras' investigation? Huh. It's okay. My, my investigation is probably not going to be that great. I don't, I don't remember me being that intelligent, but... Uh, yeah, you'll crit. We'll, it'll be fine. You'll crit. We'll it'll crit, be fine. Yes, of course. Of course we will. Uh, it's just a solid, regular roll. Ah, oh, lovely! <laughs> <laughs> you look at the body and you're like, you can't even see the stab wound. He looks alive to you. <laughs> Oh, I can see the stab. Well, I'm not that blind. It's not a crit. He looks man. alive to you. Yeah, As he a looks two. Alive. What are you talking about? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you look at him. <laughs> Nothing, huh? Oh well. The name's Chief DC. Said that earlier. Um, but if you ever need anything, I'm down by. I'll be down by my station. Um, Where is your station, good sir? Ah. Uh, it's up on Police Street. That's where all the police stations are. That's my favorite <laughs> thing. <laughs> police Street. I love Police Street. It's so, so many good. It's where the police. It's a, you can't miss it. All right, I'll go to Police Street if I need the police. Yeah, that's Absolutely. pretty efficient, honestly. That's how every city should be laid out. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> you ever been to? Yeah, <laughs> we go. We go to all of <laughs> the guy who runs this place, Mayor Mayor. He um he wanted to be very literal. <laughs> Wow, all right. Everyone's just called... Are you Cop Cop? Is that your name? Or no, I'm, I'm, I'm Chief DC, but... Um... Okay. <laughs> Very good, then. Um, I wish you luck in your, your, your uh, progress and investigation. We'll do our best. We're going to get our best people on the job. We haven't had a murder like this in a long time. But things are a little bit tight, you know, with the oncoming threat of foreign invasion. But we'll do our best. All right, then. Oh. Um, and I guess I'm just gonna walk out and head to the crew and report. And one more what thing. I... Oh. Wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's a bit late for that, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> we missed the Christmas episode, so. We did miss the Christmas episode. I was in hospital. Mine was only five days ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not, technically it's not even New Year's for me yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas then. Thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> 
All right, and I'll I'll go outside and I'll report uh, what I saw and everything. So I'm not gonna just repeat everything. So you guys yeah, now know. You guys know that oh, Louis yeah. clock has been impaled. Wait, 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 wait a second. Behind. Was he stabbed or was he alive? You were very unclear in the story. <laughs> <laughs> he's quite dead. Quite dead. Oh, are you sure? Okay, good. All right. Yes, he's he's dead. I can I can assure you he's how, dead. How but... did the how did the body look? Duros Pearl says. Well, he he had a hole through his back. Mm. Wait, is this old Louis, Yuggy Louis? Which Louis are we talking about? This is about old here? Louis. I could confirm old that it's it not... was old Louis. But yeah. not very, very no, old not Louis very, from uh, like Planet Duro. Time Traveler Louis, we'll call him. Time Traveler Louis. Got There's it. parallel Louis. He's like Doctor Strange now. We got okay, old, like, old yeah. Louis, Time Traveler Louis, and our Louis, which I'll refer to as dead Louis. <laughs> Yeah, dead, dead Louis. Louis. Dead Louis, Louis is dead. Wait, dead. But now, now we have two. All three of them are Actually, dead. all three, all three, of, three of them are dead, right? Yeah, yeah, three of them are dead <laughs> right, right about now. Trouble. Looks like he's faded to die in every time. Well, not a yeah. name to call them dead Louis, then. Wait, no, Poe didn't come with you guys. It was, um... Doxy. Doxy. Pretend all of that was said by Doxy. <laughs> uh, that's what I thought at first as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fine. Doxy yeah, and Jimmy are the only two that came Throw a bruv in there. No problem. He's fucking dead. All three of them. All right. Um, so, guys, I don't know about you, but I really want to keep this stuff. I don't want to go through another loop. Maybe we should focus on whatever caused that explosion and stopping that from happening first is our main priority. I kind of thought whatever caused that explosion would be in the tower. So we should go in the tower then? He was Gerald, just in the, the tower, tower, no? Yeah, this is we the We should tower. go up the, up the tower, though. Like, was you there were anything the else so in the we... tower? Well, there were steps. When you went into the tower, there were steps around where... Um, mm. well, Louis said didn't the was. tower explode last time? <laughs> Is that what happened? Maybe we did, don't want to go into the did, tower. <laughs> can I can I roll something to deter to discern where the explosion, like where the epicenter when, was, when, from my perspective? You, when it exploded the last time, you guys were walking to the city. It mm -hmm. just came from the city. There was no okay, way to just determine from the city. where. All right. So, all right. Oh. Did it cover most of the sky? <laughs> oh, it was huge. So it probably okay. It might have started from a high point though. Okay, maybe. So it was like the top of this tower blown off then? Well, we don't know. Also, we it was it. so <laughs> instantaneous. I mean, it was like a nuke going yeah, off. It was right? just, yeah, like white light, and then we're just dead. Mm. Um, oh, well, it hasn't happened yet. That's right. Yeah. This yeah. this tower, well, it did and it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you guys give me like last time on Dragon Ball Z. Last time? <laughs> All right, you guys want to, here's the recap of everything that happened last time. You guys, uh, confronted the fourth brother he made a time machine to go back and save all of the Louis Le Clocks. uh the time machine short circuited sent all of you back to this point um you got in the when you guys woke up young blue blood was there like you guys shouldn't be laying there we're about to attack the city they've got this ancient thing from our planets that we want to get back uh you guys then go to their camp had a nice long rest then walked to the city and died then you woke <laughs> up again and you guys are like sorry blue blood we're gonna go to the city instead you guys went to the city instead um immediately you went into a starbucks ragnar you <laughs> robbed the lady uh destroyed a table and then fixed it before the police arrived then william snuck into a casino uh <laughs> and managed to finesse about five grand off papa big papa right who was getting a lap dance with some girl um then you use that money to go buy a deagle from the gun shop and then verona animated a sniper rifle to steal it and you guys are like let's go to the clock tower you guys went to the clock tower there was police tape around it you walked inside L louis le clock was dead there you go <laughs> Hi. Tune in this time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> the crew dies. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. And then you get three minutes of actual action, mm -hmm. and then there's a cutscene. <laughs> yes. And outro music. Freeze is like, okay, five minutes from now, I'll blow up Namek. 30 episodes later. Okay, okay. Time to blow uh, up Namek. I must say, though, that, that coffee or frappuccino, whatever you guys call it, was delicious. And That was good. Yeah. I've been getting headaches lately, and I, I swear that helped my headache. That's a magic herb, or that's a magic juice. <laughs> that's good. It, oh, headaches God. helps your headache. That oh, God. That's no, that concerning of what's inside that frappuccino. That's that's frappuccino. Yeah. Oh, Doxy, Doxy got a big Rambo knife, I got a too. big fucking yeah. knife, bruv. Woo, yeah. I want to use right. it. Is there any brother I can stab? Because I'm in a stabbing mood, ready to shank. No, well, Actually, no Doxy, way, yeah. I have an idea. a crime scene yeah? with a bunch of cops around, Doxy. Uh, I was going to try to sneak into the top of the... I was going to try to sneak into the top of the tower if you want to come with. Sneak in? That's a crime. <laughs> I look at Doxy <laughs> like, one thing that's well, all right, all right. <laughs> you know what? We, I'm know getting kind of sick of the attitude here. Right sneaking now. in isn't illegal. That's a crime. Therefore, I'm interested. 
There it is. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to move away from where all the cops are right now, maybe into like a back alley, and then I'll try to use like stealth and Geppo to kind of like sneak up the tower because I can kind of fly. So, okay. can I do that? I guess so. you. Yes, you can do that. All right. I'm just gonna roll stealth then to see if I could maneuver around. All right. Ooh, I mean, you, you're I mean. 32. You are practically <laughs> invisible. Where, okay. Where did William go? Do you want I just disappeared. Well, you want Doxy to come with you? I kind of grabbed her by the scruff of her like cloak, and I'm just like, come on, you're gonna help okay, me. Okay, she's this. also gonna do a stealth, but man, I mean, it won't matter much. Even the as long as she has a crit fail, we'll be good. If she crit yeah. fails, I'm just gonna drop her in the middle of the street. Let her. She got a 29. Okay, yeah. no <laughs> you shit. guys, okay. like Batman and Robin in the night. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. You jump, you you sort of climb up the side of, I mean, it's a tall tower. I actually need yeah. to stress how tall this tower is. You're going to take a while to climb up. You guys will have. Well, I'm using your Yeah, you're, you're, This yeah, is yeah, fucking one up. piece. You guys, you're oh, just. Oh, man. Doxy okay. doesn't have Gebo, though. I can hold on to her. She okay, can't true, weigh true, that true. much. Yeah. Like, what if she's like, you grab check, her and you're like, holy shit, you're heavy. I mean, I could do a strength check. I would just say the basic strength check. It doesn't need to be too high. Oh, it's not great. Okay, so uh, it's gonna, it. you're gonna get her up, but it's gonna take you a little bit of time. All right, all right, and, all right. You know, time is a valuable resource. Um, you are sneaking. You get to the very top of the clock tower. Um, the 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 windows are all glass, right? So you're gonna have mm -hmm. to shatter glass to get inside if you want to. Uh, are they windows that can be opened at all, or are they just like stained glass? They're all like stained. It's windows. like stained glass windows. Yeah. All right. I'll I'll try to break the glass as easily as like. I don't know. I roll my devil fruit to get a fruit that allows me to phase through walls. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. It's so interesting that... All right. All right. Yeah. Sure. Just wait for it. Wait Just for wait. it. Well, yeah, we'll have it. Uh, Devil fruit roulette? What did 147. You get? 147. 147. Okay. Wait, wait for it. Uh, The mozu mozu. No, me. You can okay. rearrange your body. I rearrange it to the size of a centimeter and I squeeze through a crack in the wall. I don't know, that's that's changing the size. Rearranging, I assume, means like you could put your arm on your chest, you could put your leg on your head, that sort of thing. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, can I take off parts of my body? I just rearrange. Let's just right. rearrange, sort of kind of gross. All right, fine, I'll just break the glass then. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, you smash the glass and it shatters its glass. Doxy goes, "Fuck it, hell, mate! We could have just cut a hole in it and snuck through." But okay, uh, <laughs> I mean, we don't. Time is of the essence. Okay. Um, the, uh, you guys on the ground, you do hear the noise of glass smashing, and DC looks up and goes, "What the fuck's going on up there?" And he he points to like a guy who like you you the rest of you three see a guy enter into the bottom of the clock tower. Um, to investigate the noise. All right, William and Doxy, you are now at the top of this clock tower, and you see all the mechanisms He's for fucked. the clock. Uh, <laughs> you see all the mechanisms for the clock. You don't see any devil fruit. And there's nothing that looks like a bomb. Nothing that looks like a bomb. All right. I'll try to sneak back down then, because that's just what so I was going to go down to see. the clock tower and just check every single room. No, I was going to go out the window. Oh, you're going to go out the window? Okay, okay. I'm just going to go reconvene with the crew. Okay, you like, you burst out the window. For uh, some reason, I really thought there'd be a bomb where the clock was. It's just, I don't know why I had that idea, but it was there. Uh, okay. That's so, that's a one-piece joke. That's, Everybody's going to get it in about five seconds. Okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> I got, okay, so you, you jump out and you get her back down and reconvene. That whole ordeal has taken about an hour. Jesus uh, Christ, come on, an hour! <laughs> it's a tall tower! <laughs> it's a really tall-ass tower! It's Jesus a tall Christ. tower! <laughs> this clock tower is completely impractical! <laughs> Nobody can see the clock face! <laughs> okay, All right. see the well, clock? How does it even uh, look like that? I'm, what does I'm, it say? I mean, including Duras going in and talking to the guy, I mean, the whole everything that happened. Okay, so it's, well... It's like 6.30ish. You've you got like an hour left until... Okay, shit. Uh, uh, yeah, I looked at the top of the tower, guys. I didn't see anything that was bomb or devil fruit related, so I'm kind of out of ideas on this one. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I feel like we're kind of screwed anyway. We might as well have fun for the last hour and try to get... <laughs> I want it! I want to keep my cool desert eagle, though! Well, but shouldn't we at least be looking for 
anything that can help us the next round. Yeah. Yeah, that would be smart. I was thinking more like Casino. <laughs> Frappuccino. <laughs> he wants to stay with, that's not going to help us. Ragnar, time. I'll tell you what. Ragnar, your perception's not that great anyway. If you want to go to the casino and have some fun time, go for it. We can search the city. Uh, all right. Wait, uh, how much does the Frappuccino cost? I'm going to go get one while you guys search. You don't know. You stole it. <laughs> You could just go that shit was good. I think it's gonna steal it again. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It, I'll get it next like time. I'll get it next time. Anything out, or is like anyone a- exiting with like some evidence or anything? Or um, the at, at some point, you know, they're go- they're going to like remove the body, but they haven't seemed to be exiting with anything of like major note. Um, you know, okay. they couldn't find a murder weapon. Mm. And there's no other sort yeah. of evidence that they found. No. Mm. Huh. Well, I wasn't able to investigate the body too well. I, I will admit, if there was anything on Louis's body, I I didn't find it. Wait, did he did he pay twenty dollars for it? Fuck it. He, it's it's not worth twenty dollars. But Ragnar paid twenty dollars for the twenty <laughs> so mega bucks. Me Ragnar walked in there. Mega bucks. Yeah. Cut something in half, threw twenty bucks at her, and walked out. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Did you? Are they it? like all over the body right <laughs> now? Yeah, fix it. Like, are they investigating his body still, or are they? There, like, there's probably they... two people near the body. There's one person slowly walking up the clock tower to investigate the noise that William made. Hmm. All right. It'll boys. take him a couple hours to get to the top. Yeah, on stairs. it really it just... <laughs> Oh my god. This is our detective. Our detective arc. Let's have some fun with it. Who all right. Would want to kill Louis? What did they kill him with? And where did he kill him? One said it is already solved in the tower. Okay. Well, the thing that's rather weird for me is that it was uh, a sharp blade that went through him. Was it like a rapier wound or something? Is that similar to you know the, what the weapon Louis usually wields? And uh, I don't think... Did he have a weapon on his body? I, I guess I didn't check to see if it was his yeah. own weapon. I'm going to go find out. You gotta just I go walk in. over to Louis. No, I'm. A, can I just go in and like try to sneak up to Louis's body, act like I know what I'm doing? All right. Do you want to? St- I guess you could do a stealth. Hell yeah. Oh wait, wait, I wait. wait, wait. I, I am a detective Ragnar now. I want to come. <laughs> Sorry. Are you can, guys- I, can I just have Ragnar distract them? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Ragnar. You want to create a distraction? I walk up to the front door. I knock on it. Detective Ragnar on the case. I'm here to to search the body and look for clues. DC looks at you and goes, wait a second, aren't you that guy from the Starbucks? <laughs> <laughs> Get him, boys! <laughs> uh, well, well Ragnar's dealing with that. Come on. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's a distraction right before there. I start being a detective. <laughs> okay, while I'm like screaming and yeah. people are coming to me, Verona. I look at Verona and wink. <laughs> I just give Ragnar a thumbs up and walk in. I guess that works. Okay. There's a severe problem with this country. You guys don't serve people without without a, without clothes without a, a top on. You don't respect the fact that I'm a detective from a faraway land here to help you. I want a frappuccino. If there was a table right now, I would flip it. This man's clearly insane. So would get him. They just all have to tackle him. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of you know, a bunch of coppers are like chasing after you now, Ragnar. Oi, oi, Verona, oi. you have advantage on this stealth check. Catch okay. me if you can, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Get him! He's fucking fast. Well, oh, good thing I have no, no, you have advantage. You have advantage. Roll again. You have advantage. Thank God. Yeah. Okay. Twenty. Uh, Twenty. Uh, you're good. Okay. All right. So all you right, managed so to get in, and now now you're up next to the body. Okay. Just for reference. Uh, how tall is Louis? How tall is Louis? Yeah. I don't know his exact is, Wait, 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 wait. Is, Was that on the wiki? Is it that on the wiki? Like that would, I'm checking. That's why that I'm sounds asking. Like, that <laughs> sounds he like feels something like that would 5'11 be 5'11 to me. On the wiki. Damn. Okay. He is... Uh, Maybe like 5'10? Nah, it's not on the wiki. I was here. Yeah, he, he's definitely not six foot, but he's not like... I say he's like 5'10, 5'11. Yeah, okay. that's like... That's well, like... Yeah. Idea one, not gonna work. Idea two, I animate his coat, his jacket. All right, um, you animate his clothes, and his clothes come to life. That was a good nap. Hey, what's going on here? Hey, Louis jacket. Hey, we need information. Who stabbed you? What did they stab you with? Do you ah. have any of the answers? <laughs> hey, well, I was stabbed from behind. I couldn't see, but I felt this pain in my back. Hmm. My fabric was torn. Some sort of 
thin blade. Thin sort of a rapier-like yeah. blade. Straight through the heart. Killed him one shot. Mm. Unusual. Unusual for my master. He normally could survive a lot more than that. Don't know how he went down so quick. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Is there anything else peculiar you can tell me? Um, my master felt really weak in that moment. He wasn't acting his usual self. Um, was he... Did he seem like he was in a rush? In a rush? Uh, uh, I'm not really sure. He doesn't talk to me. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> I mean, maybe he mumbles out loud to himself, you know. Uh, you know like, oh, I gotta get... He definitely, to was trying to, he definitely was trying to find something. Um, and do was, I have to roll to, to come in there with Verona? It or seemed like he was a. You're, you're still fucking stealthed. He, okay, okay, he, I'll just he, walk he in. He was trying to find then. something, and he seemed annoyed that it wasn't here. Can uh, you mumble at all about what that something might be? Ah, uh, no. I mean, he was just. He just said, "Where is it? It should hey, be Verona, here." Hey, Verona, where is it? Um, how many hmm. more animations do you have? Six. <laughs> Oh, why don't you animate, like, what else is it? Why don't we animate something in the room that got a different perspective on the Ooh, whole thing? Like a, like a brick like a brick I, on the wall I or something. I don't even know if these objects have memory when they animate it, because they come to life <laughs> in that moment. Well, that's time to figure it out now in the 63 episodes in. go away now. He's going to try and stealth it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Duras, you have advantage because of Ragnar, but you have disadvantage because your armor, so you just have it's a straight stealth roll. Here we go. I just want to say Rag Ragnar is causing chaos in the city right Right now, yeah, he's running towards like the frappuccino <laughs> shop. He like there's a, there's a door there, but he makes his own door. He goes in negative two modifier. Durl um, could do it. He could get in. Maybe maybe roll insight against the cops that are remaining. I guess. Well, well, oh. this is what's gonna happen. Uh, Duras, uh, DC sees you trying to go back in. He puts a hand on your shoulder. And goes, oh, there, friend. Um, you want to go look at the body oh. again? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like to do that again. Is that a is that a problem? Uh, it's it's fine by me. I understand what it's like, you know, friend of yours. But I have to accompany you if that's okay. There are should be detectors in there at the moment, but um, uh, yeah, I got to accompany you. Oh, uh, I see, I see. Well, me knowing that the, <laughs> the captain's in there, I was like, well, uh, why don't you just tell me about this fine city then, sir? <laughs> oh, this city is lovely. <laughs> the Great Kingdom. <laughs> we call it the Great Kingdom. Many people are oh. jealous of our technological advancements. <sighs> oh. They want to see our downfall. How did, how did this all come about, all this technology? I'm no advancement. fucking historian. I just, you know, but I, I could tell you that we have great scientists. You know, thousands of years of ingenuity. Ah. You learned about it in school. Did you not learn about it in school, my friend? <laughs> well... I'm more of an adventurer, come and go, trader, if you will. My education's not great. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> you know, I flunked out of school. I became a cop. Um, but, and, you know, lost the arm and everything, changed the way everything. Thought about life and all that. Um, what, what do you work as, friend? Well, like, again, I... You can think of me as like a mercenary that goes around and helps people in need. Oh, like a charity worker. Yes. Ah, oh, good. Respectable occupation, my friend. I'm a bit of a charity worker myself, but, you know, I just help against crime and all that. Um, well, that's also very respectable. Well, <laughs> <laughs> nice. I mean, a lot of people don't like us, so I'm really happy that you uh, that you called it a respectable um, job. <sighs> well, someone has to keep the peace around here. You yeah, know, there's someone really some does. Some people that cause commotions. Is that some people really do. No, you can't fucking catch me. <laughs> do you know any, do you, do you, do you, do you know anything about that shirtless freak? <laughs> I wish I did, sir. <laughs> uh, such a shame. We haven't had a weirdo like that in ages. Uh -uh. Oh, really? Nothing. Nothing too bizarre. Nothing too weird around the city. He's the only the first. Well, they don't tell me a lot of stuff. The military is a little bit more secretive. Um, smoke right, leaves then. his mouth. He <laughs> How much time do we have left, Rustage? I don't know. I'll, like, I'll not long. Yeah. To him as, as <laughs> okay, so you guys talking. You guys, uh, you want to uh, animate another object in the room? Final two questions for the jacket. Can you tell us anything about the places you've been before here? Uh, oh, yeah. That's an easy way to do it. Wait. The places he's been before here? Um, Anything about them at all, if you have any information. Um, okay. So he, he goes, So we uh, appeared in this city in the morning, and, um, and then my, my owner really wanted to tr try and f find something, and he spent all day looking for it, uh, and then 
Well, here he is now on the floor. I would weep, but I am an article of clothing can't make tears. <laughs> that is fair. So you uh, don't know where he looked. Jacket, do you know the time in which he died? It was a. You also know the time in which he died. It was around two p.m. Oh, I know exactly. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Okay. All right. And is there anything in your jacket pockets, like a note? In my pockets, he pulls out thing. He has a stopwatch that he keeps in his pocket, but like a little. No, it's not a stopwatch, is it? It's like a little hand clock. What are they, Kale? <laughs> A pocket watch? Pocket, pocket watch, watch, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, a hand, hand clock. clock. <laughs> hand clock. Uh, yes, my hand clock. <laughs> <laughs> they have weird kind of uh, fashion choices in the future, just hand clocks. Hand clock. Hmm. I see. All right. Hancock. Hand clock. I would like to do one thing before I get s we get sent back. Okay. Uh, Ragnar getting chased by people, runs into the Frappuccinos, the coffee shop. Instantly, without saying a word, cuts the desk or the the desk in half again, and says, "I will take one more frappuccino." You again? And tell I was just about to get off work. <laughs> oh, uh, unlucky for you! Give me one more frappuccino and tell me everything you know about a a colorful fruit with designs on it. It looks like a pineapple. Detective Ragnar on the case. I'm not telling you anything. Please, oh, I gotta call the police again. I, did you? Did, did you? Did, they're they're gonna be here any second. What? You know, otherwise, I'm gonna cut your desk. Oh, imagine this. I imagine this desk is your head. God, this is the worst day of my life. I, Kudos my mom... to this barista, though. She stays on work after all this shit and still refuses to listen to Ragnar's listen, demands. We close at eight, so we're closing soon, okay? And then I can, <laughs> at eight o'clock, I can finally put my feet on a rest, and I'll be. I'm gonna quit. Is what I'm gonna do. At eight o'clock, <laughs> I'm going to quit, and I'll never work here again. Uh, by 8 o'clock, a big explosion is going to happen. You're going to be back here once again. Tell me what you know, otherwise you what die. What are you talking about here? The police officers burst in. Get him, boys! And they start piling on top of me. Can I roll like a strength? Yeah, or, like, roll, can I roll like them a off strength. Of <laughs> yeah, you just start fucking flinging them off. I like... fucking throw them all away. I'm like, a of Ragnar is here. I need to know Jesus everything Christ. you know all about right. a colorful fruit to the... Frappuccino no. ASAP. The... Cuts another table on the... that. The woman is like crying. Oh. God damn it, I'll make it myself. I hop over the counter and I try to make my double coffee. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Oh, all so right. You guys are going to animate something guys. in the room, right? Yeah, I deanimate the jacket and I animate. Well, what's in the room, like facing the door, let's say. Um, so there's a lot of like that in this sort of base room that you're in. Uh, there's stained glass windows. There's stairs leading upwards. There's occasional. There's a few decks, desks, and such scattered around. There are like books also scattered around and stuff. Uh, bookshelves. Um, it almost looks like a study area. Um, so. Mm. I would say animate one of the bricks on the wall. Not bad. I mean, mm. yeah. I, I will try. I don't know if it'll work. I'll leave that up to you since, like, um, if it's, I would, like, I would say that the, the wall. The, it, 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 but I would say that the brick itself is, like, its own individual thing. So the brick... Yeah, that's what right. I was... Yeah, I animate yeah. a singular brick. Okay, imagine the brick slowly opening its eyes with a big smile. Hello. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey. Welcome. What's up? I am one of many, but we all think the same. We all hell strong, comrade. Well, hopefully you all see the same too. Can you tell me what you've seen regarding this dead man on the floor? Ah, tragic tale. He came here looking for something. Another man approached him from behind, dressed in red. He held out his hand. The man looked like he got weaker somehow, and then impaled through the back with a rapier, killed in an instant. Hmm. Where did the man in red go after that? Did they just leave the scene? Did they take anything? The man in red left. <laughs> so, so the damn red coats, you would say, you would say. <laughs> 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 REVOLUTION! <laughs> Viva la revolution! Um. <laughs> hmm. What do I roll for coffee? What you roll? I, wanna, I, wanna, I, wanna, I, wanna, I tried to make myself a coffee. Do an intelligence. The image of Ragnar trying to fuck around do, with an espresso an machine at <laughs> a Starbucks is hilarious. An do an intelligence. Okay, terrible. <laughs> you break the coffee machines. <laughs> Would you? You're just like, how does this work? 
relax. <laughs> just why is my coffee so solid? Oh, you don't even know what it is. You don't know how to make it. Please don't kill oh, me. me. I'm not gonna kill you. I just want a goddamn coffee. <laughs> this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Oh. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have sliced bread in the One Piece world, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. This is the greatest thing since cutting down a tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> um, if we don't, okay. If if we're getting close to like the explosion, just let me know because I want to do something right before the explosion happens. You're, you're getting sort of close. It's probably like twenty minutes. All <sighs> right. Um, Verona, I think. I mean, because there's no way we're going to be able to solve this in this loop again. Hopefully, we don't die this time. I think we should mm. make take vantage points around the city to at least figure out which direction the light comes from. So at least we'll know where and generally it is when we come back. Mm. Might be best what? for you to hop up top the clock tower then. All right, I'll I'll get as high oh, as I can, an and then I'll I'll get as high as I can. I'll get as high yeah, as, as I can, can up this tower in twenty yeah, minutes. Start, I, I just I, start, yeah, you're gonna get I like just, three fourths up the way. You know, yeah. Maybe you get closer. To I'm gonna. You, uh, you know what? Forward. I'm not carrying Doxy this time, and I'm gonna give it a hundred fucking. All right, then you can, you'll get Williams. to the top. You'll get to the top for sure. Okay, I'm just like 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 triple are you going, lift, quadruple are you going up lift, like the inside, breaking the sound barrier. You know? You're going up the inside or on the outside? No, on the very top, like the pit, like the the flag post or whatever. And I'm just gonna look out over the city oh and gosh. try to figure out, look out where everything right. is as you find reach a, the top. Yeah. Uh, okay. Do is there anything you want to say to D Chief DC Duros before the explosion happens? Well, wouldn't it be weird if our world ended in just, like, a few minutes? What do you mean by that? Like there was some big explosion or anything? Yeah, that That'd would be, be weird. weird. What makes you say that? That's suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have it to be a terrorist, would you? Uh, okay. No, it's just, maybe your friend dies and that, you just think the world's ending or something like that, you know? All right, William, you see the explosion start and it's not from the tower. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, no, that's like, oh, it's not directly underneath <laughs> me. That's good. Uh, if if you guys are sort of in the east part of the city, in this sort of northwestern part of the city, you can see the explosion happen. You can't really like pinpoint the... its specific point, but it's just but it's from northwest that of the ta northwest yeah. of the tower. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So like... you the there is a blinding explosion immediately. <laughs> white white light. <laughs> then there's birds chirping, and you slowly open your eyes. Huh. What are you doing lying there? You hear a voice boom. Um, it's not safe out here. You see a man approach you. He's got sort of long blonde hair. Uh, he's quite regal looking, okay. uh, almost like a knight. He's got blue and silver plating. Um, All right, you guys, you guys want to go back to the camp, or do you want me to do the Hero of Ages speech again? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel like, boys, we got to speed run this. Okay, gotcha. Ah, shit, right, we uh, go again. Never mind us. It's okay. We are just getting lost on the city, and I'm just going to start walking toward the fucking town. Hey, hey, guys, where are you going? <laughs> nope, no, nope, it doesn't matter. It's cool. <laughs> oh, man. Well, good luck, travelers. Good luck to you, too, Arthur. Don't right. go into the city tomorrow. We won't. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> We're in... Attacking. Oh, They're going to attack. They're, They're going to attack, attack it. It's like when a guy's like, don't come to school tomorrow. I, I, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. I completely really like, forgot they were about to do that. It's like some Columbine shit you just pulled out, right. Rusted it's Jesus. Don't go into the All city. Right. To okay, so farewell, Can we roll for, like, for speed? Okay, well, first, <laughs> I was going to say, like, I was going to say, okay, guys, we had a lot of fun yesterday. It was, you know, for laughs and everything. We got to figure this out quick. All right, we don't have that much time to work with. All right, what so time Ragnar, is it right now, Captain. Yeah, it's so like let's eight not in the morning, waste right? our time going to casinos to gamble. Okay, Captain, I admit or that I Starbucks to try and get a <laughs> cappuccino. Hey, I, I think the next member of our back. crew should be a barista. <laughs> I mean, if yeah, you guys yeah, just want right. to fuck around another day, I mean, we can do this loop again. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't. Coffee. Uh, it seemed like a very hard thing to do. You must have. There's, I'm sure there's tons of schooling and education involved. That the mastery of the frappuccino is no easy task. I tried. <laughs> okay, all right. You guys walk exactly the brightest egg. Are you guys running right, towards well, the town or just traveling? Because uh, it is. A, we, I have a really bad headache and I want a coffee, but we'll. we'll <laughs> what are okay. we going? I would say we have to figure out what we're going to do. Okay, I saw the explosion before last time. It's in the northwest section of the city, past the clock tower. It's somewhere around there. I don't know exactly. So I think. Okay. 
Do you want to save Louis? That's one question because that's happening at well, two. Well, we yeah. definitely have, I have to a save theory Louis. because he knows what yeah. how to get us out of here. Okay, we let's see. Here's the it. thing: what if we die in this loop? Since we're not from here, we don't reset. We should probably confirm that Louis, if he's even here or not. Oh right, yeah, because Louis like, was. We got to go to this. Here. Yeah, because like if we go to the same point he was at the same time he died, he should show up, right? Uh, yeah, but if he theory. didn't reset with us, he won't be there. I think the smart thing would do then is to sneak into the clock tower, hide in that first room, and just wait until 2 p.m. when he's supposed to be killed, and yeah. then stop whatever's going to happen, maybe. I'm getting my that? sniper rifle. Sounds, sounds good to kill. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, 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 I don't think I am not, but here's the thing. Um, That's our only lead right now. We could get all your sniper. We could get the sniper rifle and my new pistol. We, if the town doesn't no, blow up, we could get that we later, can, Captain. Because so, no, no, I, dead when we. What I mean, that. after if we save the town for blowing up, we could do this later. You know, exactly. like yeah, so let's just focus we could on get that the barista right now. to join our crew afterwards. God. Ragnar, I don't mind if you want to get the barista to join our crew, but I don't think she'd be really. You know, she doesn't seem to be into the pirating ways. Okay. Well, I mean, well, we I also have to find a way out of this time. timeline. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah, back to. The rest of the crew. Ragnar, do not uh, kidnap this woman. Not Please do end not. Saving Louis, we need to actually save whatever this bomb is going yeah. on. I'm, I'm more just saying we have to confirm if he's go. even with us anymore. Yeah. Okay. He we might have out. been erased in the last timeline completely. All right. Okay. I feel like whatever this bomb is, it might have to do with that whole artifact thing that we needed to find. Oh, I hope the bomb's not the the fruit somehow. That'd be weird. That would be really weird. Maybe like a pineapple bomb or something. I don't know. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's I, go I save Louie, guys. I looked down at Doxy because she's probably oh. kind of dejected. She lost her knife. I lost my so. fucking knife, mate. It's okay, kiddo. We'll get you a bigger one. A bigger knife? <laughs> I'll get That's... you a straight up. I'll get whoa, you whoa, whoa, a, a, a machete. Next no, time. no, 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 no. no. There is a limit, right? There's, Governor, there's a fucking limit. The moment the knife gets too big, it becomes a blade, a sword. I ain't a sword girl. I'm a all knife right, right. gremlin. I'll get you the largest knife that, that we can possibly find. Doesn't cross the threshold into sword. What's, what? What's the threshold? It goes sword. It goes knife, machete. I don't. Know, it just, no. it's just got to feel right, isn't it? Okay, all right, we'll get you the best possible knife. I mean, we'll get you the same knife if you want me to get you the same knife. Oh, I love that right. fucking knife. Okay, I mean, but we gotta figure out this explosion knife. first. It's like lots of girth to it. That's know. just a cube! <laughs> it's just a cube! <laughs> <laughs> what if we commandeer one of these vehicles that they're driving? Wouldn't that, uh, would do that you, speed do up? you know would how to drive one of those confangled machine wheel I mean, things? Can't, can't be that hard, but it might speed up the wrong. process. I think I can run pretty fast. I think we should just go to the northwest section of the city and start scoping it out. And then one, well, well, well let's do the, co the clock tower first. Let's go to the clock yeah, tower. Yeah, we got to go investigate yeah. the All clock right. tower. Okay. You guys, are you guys right traveling now. to the city or are you running to the city? Uh, after this conversation, how about we just run? All right. I'm down the road. I, will, I would say that you can <laughs> run. You'll get there in pretty much half the time, but you'll have a level of exhaustion when you reach the city, is what I'll say, from just fucking sprinting okay. for two uh, hours. Is that oh, okay no. with that's okay with me? Is that okay with you guys? What's level one again? Just you have disadvantage on uh, attack rolls and stuff. What do you well, have? Ragnar is going to say yes. It's just ability checks. He's going to be ability. Ragnar doesn't think okay. he'll be that exhausted afterwards. Uh, uh, Ragnar's already kind of a little bit exhausted I anyway. Yeah, so. I was going to say because Ragnar has his uh, yeah. Well, yeah, my my head is fucking killing me, guys. Ugh. How about this? If, yeah, if we check. run, if we run, when will we get there? If you run, you'll get there like nine, eight, nine ish, as opposed to okay, ten. And, and and if we walk, it'll, oh, just a difference of an hour. Yeah, it's about an hour. Yeah. Okay. How about we just walk then, guys? <laughs> but, well, <laughs> uh, let's just jog. Let's okay, we'll jog. jog. A brisk we'll jog. walk. A, a brisk, brisk walk. Yes. Ah, yeah. less lovely night. Walking with lovely some authority. Day. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Walking with style. You yes. get there at 959. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly cooler. Well, that was a nice brisk stroll. We made it with a whole minute left to spare. That minute will really come in handy. All right. Okay, you mm. enter to the city. You see it uh, sort of m mid, you know, a mixture. It's like diesel punk almost vibes. They have a mixture of mm. technology. Um, okay. Uh, we got four hours until Louis's supposed to get stabbed. Do you want to go do the clock? <laughs> do you want to go do the clock tower thing right now? Why is that funny? That's it's just, just hard funny facts me, right yeah. there. It take you know you to navigate. You know, the, it's a big city, so well, it take it would take you like 40, 50 minutes to walk to the clock tower from the end. I can fly. Okay, I'm just letting you know. 
<laughs> if you're all gonna go. <laughs> Ragnar is slow. Go, <laughs> Ragnar can fly, right, Ragnar? I can jump pretty high when yeah, I'm there. There you form. go. You should learn Geppo. I'm gonna teach you Geppo after this. I can be bear. a flying bear. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. This is getting more and more ridiculous. Okay. Um, all, right, all, right, all right, Olaf and Tempest, they turn to you guys and go, all right, we're going to do our own little investigation um, whilst you guys do it. I think it's more efficient that way. And I think Olaf you should goes, go to the northwest section of the city and find this ball. All right, we'll go to yeah. northwest. Olaf! All right. <laughs> awesome, great. Uh, do we still have the talkie-walkies? No, we left one back with Luna and everybody at the ship. That's We don't have those anymore. All right, they okay. leave. That's fine. I'll figure it out. We'll, we'll find a way. Okay. Clock tower. That's the... Best Let's place to go, go for now, yes. All right, mm. I'm gonna try to avoid this fucking Starbucks on the way there too. Like, I mean, to you do like walk, side it, Yeah, you want to try and avoid it and not wait, walk past. Oh no, no, no! Wait, trying to avoid a Starbucks in a city. I yeah, that's impossible. Um, <laughs> they're everywhere. It is. It would be en route. I mean, damn you it! <laughs> you as you're walking to the clock tower, you see it on the corner of the street. There it is, the Starbucks. <sighs> oh. God damn it! Trying to resist the temptation. <laughs> <so tough. laughs> Roast, if you want to just go grab him a coffee really quick. We don't, don't, don't have, have any money. money. We don't have any money. Hey, boss, we oh, don't have any right. money. We don't have, don't have, okay, we got to get going. We got to we gotta do this pragmatically yes. this time. Okay. I'm going to be honest. I'm a little bit on edge. That coffee would help this mission greatly. But <laughs> it's okay. All right. You, you have to know. I'll, I'll have some uh, some restraint here. We can do this. We can manage this through. Okay, so we you... can be We can be <laughs> practical for a change. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. So you guys walk to the clock tower. You know, it's around, you know, just a little bit before 11. Mm -hmm. Um and you know, there's no why no tape outside of it, right? It looks completely intact. People walking around like nothing's happening, just enjoying their day. Big double doors on the front. All right. I have a huge brain idea for future attempts if this fails. If we ever okay. need money, I can rob something, a place as a bear, and then turn not into a bear, and they'll never find me. Detective, <laughs> I'm thinking of the detective idea. right now. Not that bad idea. Uh, <laughs> actually, well, right now, we'll I think we'll you're thinking as a criminal. We, but <laughs> we are pirates. All right. Um, in order, yeah. in order to, to be a detective, you must think as the criminals do. All right. Which well, helps because I'm a criminal. <laughs> Well, we need to uh, find Louie. So yeah, I'm going to walk up and knock look out on for the door. somebody in you, red, uh, you, by the way. You knock on the door. Uh, there's, yes. there's no response. There's no doorbell or anything. <laughs> no doorbell. Yeah, no doorbell. All right, I try to open the door. It is locked. I lockpick it. All right, lockpick it. Let's see here. The old thieves' tools. Yeah, right. you lockpick it. The doors okay. All right. open up slowly. Yeah. You go inside. In. Yeah. It's dark, kind of sneak in. except for, yeah, for the light streaming in through the windows. Through the, okay. you know, painting it in different colors through the stained mm. glass windows. That you hear the faint click, click. Hello? Of the, Hello? Um, clock tower. Delivery. <laughs> no response. Doesn't seem to be right. anyone here. Okay, Verona, I think everything's set. And Doxy, if you want to come in. Duros, you oh, can too, right. but stealth is not. It, it's no, you What's know. What's that, Captain? <laughs> <laughs> it just rattles over. Yeah. Someone said delivery in here. <laughs> <laughs> and you all just funnel into the clock tower. Yeah. All right, we're in the clock tower. Okay, uh, I guess we just find hey, places Captain, to hide. Says Jimmy. Yes. Uh, you want me to hide as well? Bada bing. Wait, Jimmy's here now with yeah, us? Jimmy oh, and Doxy right. have been here the whole time. Oh, okay, that's fine. All right, yeah. Uh, I, I this is more people than I think is necessary, but okay, yeah. We could just all hide from various corners in the room, and then uh, well, hey, we'll have a lot of vantage points. All right. Um, okay. Is there any just... way, actually? Is there any way Doxy can hide in like the rafters of the ceiling or something? And well, then there is no real. Get... It just keeps going up, right? Well, I guess. Oh, it's just there, a straight. Oh no, no, there are floors. I guess she could. She just hide on the be. second floor, right? And, and then, then jumped. Okay, let's yeah, do that. Do all that. right, cool, cool. All right, um, we're gonna get this from like every angle. Captain, yeah. how am I supposed to hide? I'm a little bit big. Um, all right, hold on. I got to think about this one. Well, Jimmy has an idea. Oh? Jimmy, what's up? What's your it idea? It seems like the sort of place that would have, like, a bear rug, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, okay, <laughs> we don't have to do... Not, maybe not bear rug, but you could just turn into a bear and then just pretend to be a stuffed bear in the corner, like this. Like Both are very good ideas. Yeah. How long can okay. you stay a bear? I mean, you don't have to do it right now. Maybe just, like, closer to two. 
Okay, how I'll be. A, I can. I'll pretend to be a bear. I am good at that. Okay, that's exactly what you need to do. All right. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then I will pretend to be a statue. I guess. <laughs> uh, what are we going to do when Louis shows up? Are we going to wait until the guy comes out to stab him? Because if we fuck this up, he gets stabbed. He's dead. So we might want to. I, I mean, think with, we, with with five or six should. of us in the room, All right, I, I doubt Louis getting well, stabbed. Uh, let's have everyone do a stealth, and I'll get like an average. All righty, cool. A uh, stealth. Uh, Twenty-five. Twenty-four from Doxy. Okay. Fourteen. All right. Go ahead, 20, please don't mess it up. No. Okay, I think we're all good. Yeah, then, everyone's Jimmy. good. Jimmy. <laughs> what if Jimmy crit fails it? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't even have said that. No, no, Jimmy's gonna crit succeed because he's Jimmy. Because he's Jimmy. Bada bing! Bada bing! Ah, I mean, whatever. Twelve. It's all right. Uh, the average is pretty good. I'm not doing the maths, but it's it's the average is definitely above fifteen there, and that's good enough. So you guys are all hiding in various locations, waiting. Um, you are waiting for like <laughs> a couple of hours. I mean, um, that's what wake. Yeah. I could have um, definitely gotten a frappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, didn't have any money, Ragnar. Okay. At, at around <laughs> one, like thirty-ish, uh, the the door opens. And you see um, Time Traveler Louie walk in and he goes, that's odd. I was trying to go, I was trying to find the key, but it was unlocked. Hello, is there anyone here? He says, calling out. And he walks in. Hmm, that is strange. I must be on my guard. Uh, well, let's go check if it's here. And he's about to go uh, up the stairs. But as he does that, the door, there's a hand on the door, and another man enters into the room. His uh, white mustache sort of pristine, his clothes all uh, red, um, clock ornaments all over his body. It looks like another Louis Le Clock. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Evil all right, now, I the way I'm picturing, <laughs> I'm picturing this that there's at least one of us in all four corners of this room, so yeah. he was nearest the door. Because uh, I'm picturing myself in the, in the back kind of hiding. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I would like, be by the door. I, w I would say that, well, yeah, which one of you guys would be nearest the door? Maybe Verona and Ragnar. Ragnar in the corner. I imagine Verona would be there. further yeah. away because he's ranged anyway. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. So maybe Duros and Ragnar then yeah, by the doors. Me. Yeah, Duros okay. and Ragnar by the door. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So when this other Louis walks, does he have a red coat on? He has a red coat, yeah. All right, I'd jump out and be like, Ragnar, Duros, grab it! <laughs> <laughs> Which Whoa. one? They're both right, old I guess, Louis. I guess we're right. grab him. Okay. Grab the red coat. I'm just gonna attack him. Red coat. Red coat. All right. Okay. And then I guess immediately I need you guys to roll initiative. We don't get. <laughs> oh, we get surprise shit. though, don't oh, we? Shit. Yes, you okay. got. Yeah, you still have a surprise oh, yeah. round. Verona, you begin. Okay. Can I just take a shot like right at uh, the red Louis's like right hand? Like I'm guessing he's gonna go for his rapier. Already has it. So I'm gonna yeah. try to aim to like shoot his hand. I guess. All right. Well, we, okay. Well, this is what I'm gonna do, right? Um, you can't tend. I'm I'm incorporating this thing that Schwabity uses in his D and D cool games. Cool shot rolls. Which I'm gonna use a cool shot, which I think means it's gonna be a. You're calling to shoot his hand, which means it's gonna be uh -huh. a more difficult AC for you to hit. Um, okay. And then if it if you succeed, then you succeed, right? Uh, right. Uh, if you fail, blame Mark. <laughs> 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 um, I was. It's going to increase his okay. AC by plus two. Okay. Boom. Boom. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was... Boom. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, you just hit him anyway. Nice. With all three or just two of them? Um, with... With two of them. All right. So you fire off two shots. <laughs> you you oh. hit his hand. Uh, he, like, drops his rapier onto the ground. And he looks up. And he goes, ah... This is unexpected, but <laughs> I will look. <laughs> but it is no matter. Um, he is still surprised, so he doesn't take an action. Um, mm. So now it is Jimmy's turn. Um, Jimmy's going to pull out his pistol and go... Jimmy's faster than Doxy? <laughs> For some reason, oh, yeah. Jimmy went yeah. crazy on the initiative. <laughs> Jimmy's got initiative. He's ready to go. Hey, oh, bada boy. bing, I got gun! It misses. All right, Doxy's up. <laughs> Doxy goes. You think that's? Why are you bringing a, a gun to a knife fight? She's gonna throw a dagger, and that hits, dealing a significant amount of damage to Louis. 
Those uh, daggers felled a Yonko or helped fall a Yonko. I mean, like, yeah. those are pretty powerful daggers. All right. Yeah. It's now Time Traveler Louis who then spins around and pulls out his rapier, his Napoleon. And he runs up to Void Louis. Two Louis, red and blue, facing each other. Uh, he's going to use... a difficult time in the Revolutionary War. He's going to use Napoleon. Were... He hits and does... Wait, wait, I can defend. He's in the wolf range. Oh, no, no. This is our Louis. Oh, or Louis. Good, oh, they... good Louis. Good Louis. It's like horrible <laughs> well, Louis. Good this Louis is going to be very doesn't confusing. doesn't like us very much, to be okay. fair. Hostage. I, was, I, was I love you, but I hate you. Blue and good red Louis. Louis. Still doesn't like I've us. made them different colors. Blue Louis okay. runs up. He stabs uh, red Louis in the side. Then the, the sides of Napoleon come out and fire the bullets into red Louis. Uh, Ragnar, it's your turn. Captain. Blue or red, which one do I swing for? <laughs> I mean, how about we just knock both of them out? Or at least to knock, to knock out the red one at least. We're gonna knock out the red one first and then the blue one afterwards. Got it, Captain. Uh, sure, fine. <laughs> All right. Take what um, I can get. Ragnar, you have disadvantage on these attacks. Yes, okay. Yeah. Because you're already exhausted, obviously. I will, from... I will, um, no cost. Use my. No coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just want to say to everyone, I think the coffee thing is kind of brilliant because like I'm exhausted because I'm addicted to something and yep. coffee gives me like a little bit of a pick me up to like be like a little bit less exhausted. Um, I'm going to recklessly attack, giving myself a normal yeah. hit chance. So right now you're coming in, you have three levels of exhaustion just to, you know, because it's sort of compounds the longer you go without. Oh God, he's a, yeah, he's a three. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ragnar steps forward towards Louis and it nods his he head. Louis, Louis, <laughs> get ready. <laughs> get ready, boys. And I start swinging at the red Louis. We're gonna swing. Yeah, disadvantage. Three shot. times. Do you, do you have Actually, I should, I should, I'm not frenzying. I'm gonna swing twice. Are you, do you, do you, are you recklessly attacking? Yes, I did. Okay, okay, that. okay. All right, so yeah, you hit twice. All right, well, both do the same, <laughs> both 16s. All right. Take that. You slice into Louis for two 16s of damage. That felt like two damage. 16s. <laughs> <laughs> You're cutting into him, he goes, ah, sacre bleu. This is not good, but I'll be fine. William, you're up. Uh, I'm pretty far away, so I think I have to like dash to get close. I'll just dash and be like right here. Mm -hmm. I, I can't Ragnar attack. had two levels of exhaustion when he woke up. But throughout the day, it goes more and more exhausted when he goes, you know. So he's at three at the moment. Okay. Um, I don't think I could do anything else if I dashed over here. Can I roll my devil fruit as well? Um, you sure can. It's a bonus action. Okay. So you dash yes. up to the Louis LeClocks. Yep. 398. Ooh, that's a high one. Oh, 398. Let's take a Ew. look at what that could be. What do you think it is, gamers? I don't know. Um, oh, it's Ace's fruit. It's the uh, Mera Mera Nomi. Oh, sweet! Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's Blake's fruit. Aw, I miss Blake. It's the Blake's fruit, sorry. You would know it as Blake's I would, no, fruit. I don't know who the fuck Ace like, is. Who the hell's Ace? <laughs> yeah, true, Ace, true, true. Ace, Ace is like one year old in this in this time. Well, right. here he's... The, yeah, this is easy. This is an easy fruit to do. Just any sort of fire-based spells that exist in D&D you can now cast, so... Uh, oh, nice. Up to a okay. sort of limit, but, you know. Ah, damn it. All right. Sunbeam! <laughs> uh, Sunbeam! Yeah, sun sun <laughs> but you could cast a fireball, for example. I could give fireball. Okay. Um, well, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> I can. All right. All right. Well, whatever. All right. What are you going to do? You still have your action. Oh, my dash, though. Oh, you dashed? You, oh, yeah, okay. I, I, I see. I see. I, I had to move all the way yeah, over yeah, here. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Decent distance. Yeah, you're right. I was like sixty feet away. Okay, yeah. so you you dash over. You spin your devil fruit. You're here and you're ready. I'm the human torch. Flames yeah. licking right. out of your body. <laughs> all right, Duras. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I'm gonna look at this guy and I, I see the sword that he dropped the sword on the ground, right? Yeah. All right. Well, then I'll just stroll on up. And I will take his sword. It is way to go, Taros. I mean, it's quite a big thing. I mean, that's essentially like equipping a weapon. So I will say that's an action because you have to sheath your sword, pick it up. But it does deprive him of sword. Yes, and I'm Taros. I'm proud of you. Fucking sword. <laughs> just take and then his with fucking my bonus sword. action. Uh, he's gonna look at me. And I'm gonna. Go, oh, did you drop this? And I'm gonna smack it with my shield and try and hit him. <laughs> Perfect. 
All right. Um, so it's a str- it's just a strength contest or something. Yeah. I believe it's with the shield bash. Mm-hmm. Uh. Oh, strength. Oh, let's save. Sorry. Uh. uh well, well, well. It, the 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 contest would be just a couple less. It'd be like three less than that. So, I'd say. Yeah. Um, oh, it's athletics, isn't it? So I think it's probably actually be the same. Oh, then it would be the same. It'd be the same. So you're good. You're fine. His strength's not super great. He's just Louis, isn't it? Twenty yeah, though. Awkward. So Ooh. 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 Attacker, Louis. so he fails. Uh, is that how it works? Is he not resisting, so he succeeds? Do you want to re-roll so that it? That just means I lose, though. Well, yeah, that just oh. means I lose. Let's re-roll it, guys. Let's just re-roll it. <laughs> Let's just do it again. Okay, so this time I'll do acrobatics or strength. Athletics, athletics. 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 All right, he got a he got a seven. You got a thirteen. All right, you push him over. <laughs> okay. oh, there it is. <laughs> there there it is. Okay. Holy shit, Verona, you're up. All right. Uh, how weak is he? Ah, eh, he's fine. I'm just gonna take three more shots. At All Red right, Luke. you have. Okay, I know this annoys everyone. You do have disadvantage on these shots because he's prone. That's fu- that's fine. Okay. I, mean, I mean, what else? What else am I gonna do this round? Might it's well. but it's like take you know you're ducking, taking cover. I mean, right? Holy Ooh. shit! Oh, well, hey, somebody's we... gonna get shot. <laughs> Someone's gonna. <laughs> <and it's>, well, <laughs> who's joining the crew this time? All right. So the bullet flies out the window and hits the barista <laughs> going to work. <laughs> <laughs> one of them She's hits on Red Louie. One of them hits Red Louie. One of them hits Blue Louie. Do the two damage. <laughs> All right. Well, this one's for Red Louie. That one's for Blue Louie. Okay. One less damage. <laughs> One less damage. Okay. So, Blue Leaf. Damn, All right. Aren't, aren't, aren't we supposed to hit the red one first? <laughs> <laughs> Your perception is worse than me, Verona. Okay. They both look like Louis. It is now Red Louis' turn. <laughs> You've had a whole surprise round against him. Red Louis looks around. He, he, he's on the floor. He sort of looks up. And he just sort of shrugs his shoulder. And then sort of clicks his finger. And you see him like slowly mm. go back into standing position, all his wounds clear up, the sword flings out of Duras' hand and enters into what? his I hand. I can't even grip it? Um, it's oh. just like the time of it completely reverses. And then he just like brushes down his coat and goes, oh, well, that was a little bit annoying, but um, uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, he points at Ragnar and he, Ragnar, I need you to do a um, wisdom saving throw. That's cheating, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Wisdom saving throw. All right, you fail. Ragnar, oh he reverses you back down to level one. Okay, Rustage, fuck you. I just did a, I just did a One Piece video game yesterday where this bullshit happened. You're a boss fucking shit again. Done. Dude, back he to level one. Level back one, to dude. level one. So I'm gonna give, like level ten, dude. What I'm gonna I'm gonna give you your character sheet. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have a level one character sheet. Uh. This is before, so it's like back in time before you got your uh, bear devil fruit as well. Okay. So <laughs> he is no longer a bear. <laughs> he unbears you. Unbears your my, Ragnar. My oh. my name is Ragnar. Uh, I'm not a bear. You feel yourself <laughs> get physically a... weaker. All right. He's now in play now. Yeah. His you know that's his turn. All right. Um, but he, you know, legendary erections are gonna happen. <laughs> it's Jimmy's turn. Ragnar, you now have 15 HP. Um, 15 oh, HP. shit. <laughs> you are a level one barbarian. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Unbears level your Ragnar. One? Jimmy is stronger than you at this point. Uh, Jimmy That's is stronger such... than you. Jimmy... I have such a funny, I have such a funny idea. <laughs> Jimmy's actually stronger than Ragnar. Uh, Jimmy goes, he just healed up all of his health! Bada bing! Wait, does he, oh, he doesn't have an addiction anymore, does he? Yeah, you're not. Also, you lose all levels of exhaustion. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so, like, do <laughs> we only notice anything, like, You, you to see Ragnar, Ragnar get less swole. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> and you, you still have your weapons. He took his muscles! So, your executioner's axe is on your level one character sheet, as you'll see, so you still have that, but you are weaker. Um. Where's my level one character sheet? I just made it available. Oh, it should be Ragnar one. Okay. So, I mean, Jimmy's going to keep shooting, not do anything. D- Doxy's going to keep throwing kni- <laughs> knives. Uh, but yeah, things aren't looking good. Uh, Doxy, it's dead. <laughs> no, no. Blue Louie. Uh, Blue Louie goes, what 
What is going on? <laughs> you guys are supposed to be helping me. I've been shot in the back. I've been stabbed by that thing. You're the reason um, we're here in the first place. So, Louis, you want to join our crew? <laughs> we need it. We're in a vacancy. We are vacant one Louis right now. I Level one Ragnar now. loses all his hair. Oh, yeah, guys, I used to be bald. <laughs> 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 it is I w the, the Louis that was part of your crew died. I do not want to do that. Also, why are you guys here? I, uh, I mean, I already shot you. It's too late. <laughs> You're part of the crew now. This Louis That's is true. Also, we're here to save you. You die in like now or like in an hour. So then, and then we got reset back in time, and we're we're here to save you this time. This Louis comes here to kill you. Well, I can see yeah. that. <laughs> he is <laughs> I can, He is a lot more stronger than I am. Uh, and last time, we weren't here. This time, we will be here. It makes sense if you don't think about it. I still... Okay. Fuck. Well... <laughs> shit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll stop. <laughs> okay. Oh. We've got to kill him as quick as possible. He, he yells out. Otherwise, he's going to keep f fucking us. Uh, <laughs> I can see that. But that does hit. It doesn't hit with the shit rolls. All right, Ragnar, you're up. You're level one. Ragnar, run away. Level one. <laughs> Ragnar stomps and takes one step forwards. You think even at level one, I'm going to back down? <laughs> oh, no. You think I'm going to run? Ragnar never runs. Pause one oh. moment. If you deal more than 30 damage, is he dead for good? Oh, whoa. I mean, he does die. Well, yes. Uh, since now what, that we what, know that Louie is still yeah, alive okay, in the so reset, I think the we could all shoot ourselves in the head and we'd be fine. Yeah. Well, okay, let's not do I'm that 80% yet, sure. though. <laughs> yet. Yeah, 80% sure. Yeah, I'm 90% sure. <laughs> sure that'll work. Okay. All right, well. All right. Ragnar takes one step forward, stomps. I'm not running away. He reaches into his back pocket and he grabs a syringe that <laughs> off credits, I did something. Yeah, I had I syringes, but the syringe is blue now, and he fucking stabs himself in the arm. Oh god! Level one Ragnar can't handle this. Uh, his oh. body explodes. He just do dies. I just die? I don't. You, uh, level one Ragnar his has to do it. Explodes. Level one Ragnar needs to make a Constitution saving throw. Okay. <laughs> level one Ragnar. Level one, one Ragnar dies! <laughs> you stab yourself with the blue blood. You feel it pulsate through your body and it gives you so much power. More power than you could even handle. Your fucking veins explode. Your fucking. You fall apart. Right, I'm dead, I guess. Oh, fuck! Ragnar! <laughs> I, oh, are you right. kidding me? It all, Drugs listen, are whack! Level 16 Ragnar, it put him on the brink of death. Level 1 <laughs> Ragnar, it's gonna destroy his heart up. <laughs> Do I, like, get some attacks in as I die, at least? What? <laughs> no, you <laughs> did I get, like, jacked for, like, four action. seconds. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm no. Ragnar would have done it. All right, so, Ragnar, yeah. like you just Can I ask a like a hundred milliliters of heroin directly into your question. fucking heart. I have a question. Yes. So the the five modifier in his Constitution save that means for the ten he rolled a five, right? All right. Yeah. Can you? Replace I can it? use my I can use my ring and give him a ten. Does he live if I do that? If he's fifteen, <laughs> wouldn't succeed. Oh. So he'd shit. still die. He'd still die. Okay, hey, then I'm not but gonna no, no, buy. Well, Sorry, Ragnar. You, but this is like a substantial smaller dose than what I did before. Before 15. I jumped into a pool of blue blood. This time I'm doing a syringe of it. You are level one. You are essentially a civilian. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, okay, if you do 15, he will still die, but he will be able to get an attack it before he dies. Fuck it, why not? Okay, okay. Ragnar. Why, yeah. Something about fate changes on a whim. You are ready. Change the fate. Change the fate. You can get an attack in, it will do double damage, and then you will die. Okay. Ragnar takes one step forward, injects himself. He's like, his muscles are like convulsing. He can barely handle it. And I'm just like, if you can change your fate. If you can change your fate. <laughs> oh, nice swing. Uh, you don't even Sorry, hit miss. him! <laughs> <laughs> you swing with so much force down towards oh, Red Louie right. as your body oh. just crumples and turns into a sludge. My sides. Oh. Sludge, so he just, he just, you just dissolve? Jesus. Yeah. Oh, it's like... After oh. we reset, I'm getting a fucking Frappuccino. Jesus. Uh. <laughs>
All right. We have to tell his wife those were his dying words. <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, okay. Right. See, in a normal situation, I think Verona would be in shambles right now, but he knows we have a good chance of just resetting. Mm -hmm. So he's going to stay focused. We just saw stay in focused. Our, we saw one of our friends <clears throat> die right in front of us. He's not dead Why to me. Himself? He's coming he back. He wasn't about Red Louie. <laughs> he killed himself. <laughs> he literally... He that makes it even worse if he turned like, to a pile of goo suicide. on the floor. All right, Void Louie's now going to turn with his um, legendary Can action. you fix him? <laughs> Can you fix him? Uh, red not, Louis. Not, the red, not Red Louis, but Blue Louis. Blue, <laughs> Blue Louis fix it. <laughs> Blue Louis like, I cannot bring him back from the dead. <laughs> that is fucked uh, up. Is dead. <laughs> red Louis right. turns. He's going to use one of his legendary actions. Uh, Duros, I need you to do a uh, wisdom saving throw. Oh, shit. Here we oh, go. You're kidding me, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, there's only one way I think I can succeed this in the black crit. Nope. Nope. So Duros... Um, you, you, Duras, you're probably the one that benefits most from going back to level one because you still have all your equipment. Um, but, uh, does he still have, oh, so he still has, he has the wolfo, he has the armor, he has the okay. shield, he has the sword, right? Um, so, but Red Louis turns to you and unlevels Duras. Uh, Duras, you feel yourself getting weaker. Um, all of this, your muscles are <laughs> getting smaller. All of this no! effort and, and all of this time that you put into, uh, your, your skills unlearning in an instant. Um, right. you, let me give you a sheet. You have 11 HP. Um, 11 HP? Oh, goody. <laughs> All right. <gasps> okay. Uh, right, William, it. it's your turn. All right. I look. I glance over to Verona on the other side of the room and I just like. <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna grab Void <laughs> Louie and just blow myself up with the Mara Mara no me. Just oh like, shit! Bear hug and then just like firestorm. <laughs> just like try to nuke. I'm just gonna light myself up. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna light? Wait, you're doing a firestorm on position? Yeah. Think... Well, I'm trying to grab him first and then just try to like I'm blowing myself up with him. I'm pulling a Vegeta right now, basically. Okay. <laughs> Wait, shit, doesn't that have a large radius? Would that not just... Okay. Firestorm's like 10 feet, honestly. It's really not that huge, yeah, but, but that... I think it lights everything on fire around it. True, yeah. but he is right next to Duros, just so you know. Okay. So you... Everyone's... Ragnar's already died. We have to go through the loop again now. Okay, like, it has... so you... Yeah. you Okay, you use Firestorm. Uh, yes. So he's got to do a deck save. Okay. Um, so does Duros. Um... I don't think there's any way I can save. Yeah, no, Doris, you, if you succeed, you don't take any damage because of your shield. So you're still, you have a chance. Okay, all right, we still have that. Uh, all right, okay. You all right, have to cool. succeed, though. No, um, it's a con save. No, Ooh, this is about no, 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 very Doris. Traumatic. <laughs> your shield lets you change all your con, uh, deck saves into con saves. Yeah. So you do a con save. Uh, it's uh, not great. Wait, what is your what? what is your modifier, William, for these? Um, it's your is your thing. Let so this it. is a spell, and I don't have spell. No, it it, it it be count as a devil fruit ability, like all of your other devil fruit abilities. So, um, okay, where's the number at then? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I think I just have it on your. Oh gosh. Well, yeah, there's nothing there. Eighteen. Oh, there it is. Eighteen. Okay. Yeah, I'm quite dead. Okay. So, <laughs> William, <laughs> you <laughs> jump into, into <laughs> Red Louis. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Red Louis. Uh. <laughs> I'm it's willingly trying to blow myself up <laughs> on my own captain. Okay. <laughs> just vapor. okay, Red Louie's gonna do his saving throw. I mean, um, it's half damage. Oh, God damn it! Other Louie does. Red Louie <laughs> critically succeeds! No! No! You turn I into a my one. I to make him critically fail. Alright, so he's gonna take. So now, William, roll the 7d10 damage. Alright, here we go. 7d10s. Alright, uh. Oh, hold on. Okay. Captain, what are you doing? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it still hurts. You still, Duros, you immolate and die immediately. No, I don't actually. It's half damage, so I, I'm oh. actually still alive. Well, you're unconscious. Uh. I'm unconscious. Wait, 32 half is yeah. It's like six. Yeah, you're actually unconscious. You're good. I'm just unconscious. You're not dead. Yeah. All right. Wow. Captain, what are you doing? Ah! <laughs> still. <there. laughs> I'm just watching everyone on fire, just like. Uh. 
This is bad. <laughs> Blue Louis takes 32 damage. Red Louis <clears throat> takes half of that. Uh, which we established is 16. Um, oh, wow. That did so much damage. I'm glad I did that. I'm not... Am I dead? No, you're still... You're, you've got, like... You're still level... 16, you're good. I was willingly trying to burn up my life force. <laughs> he was trying to be electro. <laughs> yeah. you know, just I was trying to use out. explosion. Durus do trying like, to use explosion. I don't know how like to do explosion. It's like a gas tank inside this, uh, <laughs> this room just kills me. I don't know how to do that. All Duros, right. do a death saving throw. Uh, I'm sorry if I ended up killing you, Duros. It wasn't intentional. It's just actually. a, oh, a there death there saving throw. is just a d20. I see it, I see it. Well, All right, yes, um, one fail. All right, Verona, you're up. Oh, by the way, the whole fucking place is on fire now. Like, well, Verona's freaking out, but he's trying to use every single like ounce of his adrenaline to be like, all right, well, oh, even yeah. if sorry. I die, sorry, I'm Red Louis, back. Red Louis did get that one. Sorry, 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 sorry. He does take the full damage. Sorry, I got caught up in the Duros death. He does this take the true. full damage. So he takes another sixty. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. Um, man. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna use a uh, sharpshooter and take three shots at him. Good luck. He is up, so you have just regular shots. Oh, that's right. I didn't turn that off. Womp. Sharpshooter's minus five, right, to the roll? It's... I think so, yeah. Yeah. yeah minus it five. It is. So 17. Uh, so the uh, the 24 hits, but that's it. Okay. So, so 23. 23 damage. You fire a shot. Another one hits into Red Louie. He seems relatively unfazed from all of these shots. He does look wounded, but, you know, he has this air of smugness about him. Is that your turn? Can I use my bonus action to animate a healing serum and send that over to Duros? <laughs> yeah, sure. Might as well. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like... yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, where? Bing bong. Bing bong. Okay, Duras, you're back. You're on eight health. Hey, I almost got full HP. <laughs> Yo, you're on eight, <laughs> <laughs> you're on eight <laughs> health. It is now Red Louis' turn. Red Louis, he does two things on his turn. Um, this time, he is going to unlevel William. William, do a wisdom right. saving throw. Let's go. I'm going to resist this. Let's go. Let's go. All right, wisdom save. You do not resist it. All right. So you become, Aww. it unlevels your William. So uh, your William, you, I the lose clock my fruit, turns back, you lose yeah, your yeah. fruit, you go back to just being a basic rogue, even Doxy. Actually, Jimmy's stronger than all of you guys now. Uh, um, Jim, us, Doxy, Jimmy. you're the new captain until we figure this out. All right? <laughs> Not for Rona? <laughs> <laughs> oh right, yeah, Verona. Yeah, yeah. You're the new captain, and then Doxy's the vice captain. How about we what's do that? said right. is said, Captain? <laughs> do you, you captain can use Doxy. a luck point, William, if you really want to. I don't have any. Oh, well, you, no, oh. I got, I guess, I, no, I got one back because I think the reset. Yeah. I don't know, how many luck points did I have before the dragon? I don't remember, or after the dragon? I don't I, remember. You maybe have one. Do you want to do a wisdom saving again? Yeah, I could do that again. You fail okay, even well, harder. There it is. Okay, yeah, so uh, Red Louis then going to pull out um, his weapon. It looks a little bit different to Napoleon. It looks a little bit more evil, actually. Um, and he is going to... Well, he's, he could stab either William or Duras here, so I'm going to roll a d2 for it. Um, let me give you your sheet, William, as well. He's going to stab William. Okay, here we go. Uh, William. No, Captain! <laughs> William, William, William. Even though you killed me... <laughs> I still care about you. Uh, what's important is, William, you do have 11 health. Uh, so, okay. Tell you what, though. He is in my protection health. zone, so I True. can shield him. All right. And I still have that at level one. Yep. William's armor class is a lot lower, though. Oh, yes, yeah. Scales yeah. on his but dexterity. still, <laughs> that's all I can do. All right. Uh, Red Louis turns around. He pulls out his weapon, and he stabs... William, that does hit. Uh, it hits me exactly. Yeah. But I'm you can wait. wait. But the wolf. Disadvantage. Oh, but the wolf. Then it doesn't hit me. No. Well. Oh yeah. Roll the d4. Oh yeah. yeah. The wolf. I still have the wolf. Yeah. Roll d4. He still has the wolf. Hell yeah. Well, it's 16 my AC. So <laughs> even if he rolls a one, that'll still level. Yeah, that'll still, still works. Still, yeah, still level works. one, William. AC is lower because your dexterity is lower. Your 14 is your AC. Oh, okay then. Yeah, so, it, so no, that, well, that's so it doesn't 15. work. That's still, nope, no, that doesn't no, damn. Because <laughs> you're dead. Because you're dex. Because right. you obviously leveled up your dexterity. Your dexterity is lower. Uh, so he pulls out Waterloo, sure. stabs it into you. 
fires off the shots and eviscerates William. Fuck you. Killing him instantaneously. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it is. I am one of the strongest Louis to ever live. And you I think- passed on. I passed on the captain mantle before I died, thank God. <laughs> to Doxy? To Doxy, <laughs> yeah. She'll be fine. I don't know why. I She'll don't be feel fine. Anything. He killed me, literally. <laughs> no, no, Rustage, this really is like Mistborn. This is working out swimmingly right now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Now I get a religion made after me, and everything will be <laughs> Doxy's like, all right, I am the captain. Why did I give him a, her a French accent? I'm turning everyone French. <laughs> oh no, oh, all right, British. I've been made captain in this bullshit. We're fucking getting out of here. They're dead. I don't want to die. I don't even care if we not, you know, if we reset and we come back and shit. I just don't want to feel that pain, you know. The pain of death is not one that I want to know. All right. So I'm saying full retreat. You guys do whatever you want, but my I'm a captain's orders in it. Uh, Jimmy's like, I'm bad at pain. That's good with me. <laughs> he starts running they towards the- They just abandoned our dead bodies. <laughs> That's starts... fair. That's fine. I look over at Duros. What do you think, Captain's orders? Or are we staying? <laughs> I... I'd rather not lose more friends. <laughs> uh, time traveler Louis goes, This is not good. Uh, we'll never be able to beat him like this. Hey, he hits. Nice. All right, Ragnar, you're dead. William, you're dead. Duros, you're up. <laughs> I love that. Oh Man, my god. I feel bad for anybody that just joined the stream. Like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, I I would say, fuck, man. Uh, <coughs> the most Duros thing I could do is I would look to Verona and be like, at least make sure the other ones get out. And I'm going to try and grapple him. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Uh, with my level one. Where's my level one guy? Yeah, you are. You do are proficient. With that. You know, athletics ain't too bad for your level one. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, I think so you actually acrobatics. do have a higher modifier than Louis does, so you have a chance here. <coughs> yeah, be athletics. All right. Well, not great. Okay, dude. Oh! <laughs> Okay, he dude. critically succeeds. You try and grapple him, and he just holds you up and goes, ah, Mon ami, mon ami, to air, stupid. Well, all right. Maybe I did not uh, introduce myself. Zimabel Louis Le Clock. This is a name that you shall learn to fear. Well, shit. Uh, second wind's a bonus action, right? You don't own second wind, do you? <coughs> right? You get that at level oh, you're two. Right. You're right. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait. No, I had to check this out once <coughs> to see if I got it at level one fighter, and I think I do get it at level one fighter. Second wind? It might be action surge. I, action surge is Wait, is it on I your sheet? Surge is level two. I, oh, no, you, 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 you do have second wind. It's on your sheet. It's, you have second I wind. I took it off, and I forgot to. Re yeah, so you it's have, level one. Duras, yeah, you have one. second wind. You can use it. Yeah, I'll just top myself off to level 11 and just try my uh, yeah, I'm sure 11 HP. All right, Verona, yeah, you're I up. Think, I think I'll automatically just get 11 HP at that point. All right. Yeah. I mean, I guess speaking of, I'm just going to action surge for the heck of it. Okay. But I'm going to do something a little... Because Duros is... He's not down, right? He's still... He's I'm still alive. 11 HP. He's still grappled. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a uh, beguiling bullet. Okay. And I'm going to try to... Beguile Evil Louis to fall in love with Duros. So I have to choose an ally. So. I mean, why not, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. right. He's got to do a what yeah. saving throw if you hit. <laughs> yeah. So I'm also going to try to action surge this to make sure it hits no matter what. But we'll see. Now, could Evil Louis yeah, bring us back hits. from the dead? Because he's more and a crit. powerful. Oh, the crit. Ayo. <laughs> uh, okay. So you do hit. So he's got to do a what saving throw. He has to do... Let's take a look here. He's going to have saves, though. Shit. He has a lot of good saves. The, his shit is save his strength, just for context. Okay. No, he doesn't he have like legendary saves and stuff? Wisdom saving throw. All right, let's see. You got a 29? Well, I think he saved that. <laughs> he does not fall in love with Duras, but he does take a lot of damage. 31, the 21, the 34, and the 20 all hit, so load him up. All right. Um, boom. 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 
Okay, you load him up with a series of shots, one of them even being a critical hit. Um, and he looks bloodied, actually. He looks very wounded. Um, but he's going to stab Duros. Now, Duros still has 21 armor class or whatever the fuck he has, because he still has all <laughs> of his armor on, right? Uh, unlike Ooh. the other guys who armor class is reduced because they use dexterity, Duras is, again, the luckiest... Actually, it should be 23 no matter what. <coughs> 23 oh, armor class. Like... Sorry, my bad. Yeah. He has 23 armor class, so there is a considerable chance that... You you had 23 armor class at level 1 and you still got hit? No, no, he didn't No, 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 I had 18. Uh, okay. But he's kept his oh, armor, okay. right? Oh, right. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. I also yeah. bumped his armor up one armor class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So Some there stuff. is a chance that Louis here... Okay, he do two things, right? One attack... One time thing, or two time things, or two attacks, whatever. He is going to attack Duros. 17. Oh, I block one. You block one. Oh. Um, nice. All right. Now here's his choice. Is he going to try an unlevel Verona, or is he going to try an... Uh, uh, I think he's going to unlevel Verona. He he's going to look over at Verona. What the hell? Because uh, he, he's taken a lot of damage from Verona, and he knows this is... All right. Unlevels your Verona. Wisdom saving throw, Verona. I mean, if you succeed this, Verona is really the we... hero. Oh my uh... god! <laughs> nope. Our wisdom's not great today. Uh, it's interesting. That is your times. worst stat across the board. <laughs> what? what yeah. What's the What's the save? Like fifteen? It's not fifteen. It's a bit higher than that. Okay. No, I, I think all of our that. intelligence and wisdom is. I think it's it's pretty low. My wisdom's um, negative three. I, I think these are just shitty rolls. They are shitty you rolls too. Yeah. Um. Like, that was a four. Like, he did, he did four uh, I mean, I can use Indomitable, though, right? Yeah, that lets you roll yeah, it again. Can. Go ahead. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're level minus one now. You, he he's unlevels just, you. I just die. <laughs> I just die. I'm, I'm a child. He turns you into a fetus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> no. Good lord, flat. You <laughs> un- he unmakes you. Jesus Christ. God damn, this Louis is He's powerful. Already, and you've begin. already used the ring twice today. You did it twice. Yeah, so I, I'm anymore. not like, I'm- All right. I, I, Now we okay. know what he can do. I can All save right, Duros, stuff for next time. Alright, Duros, it's up to you, buddy. <laughs> Level one Duros. <laughs> level one Duros saves the day. <laughs> Alright, Verona, you're level one Verona. Um, <laughs> holy shit. Okay. Holy moly, which means you don't even double through it anymore. Uh, yep. <laughs> you do have your weapons. So you still have that rifle, but for one. Um, okay. Jimmy and Doxia are, are by the door now. And they're like, they're going to take one last attack at, Void, um, at Red Louie before <laughs> they leave. <laughs> um, Fair, honestly. And they're like, we got to fucking leave. <laughs> we got to go to where Olaf, Tempest, Cyril, and Pearl are. Um, oh gosh, yeah, it does kind of sneak attack still. Hey, Doxy does pretty well. Um, yeah, I, mean, I am next. Hey, to she's him. the captain. Yeah, yep. she's the captain. She, she's the captain now. <laughs> she does the most damage out of everyone. To be fair, um, I'm proud of her. Time traveler Louis is, is irate. Uh, he's gonna try and actually grab Red Louis by the throat, and they're gonna grapple each other. Um, oh. All right, let's see how this goes. Hey, no! This is not supposed to be like this. We Louis are supposed to help each other. You are naive. You, we are not the same. We are but different people born in different in the same skin. All right, so time travel Louis and, and Red Louis. Oh, gosh. Louis the Red. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, it's the is same it the number. Thing? <laughs> it's the same uh, number, so I'm just gonna say they are the boys. same person. Yeah, the same person. Holy they are shit! The same. My God. Yeah, they are the same person. I guess. I guess they can't. Str yeah, they can't strangle one another. Yeah. All right. Um, time travel Louis wins and pins Red Louis down to the ground, choking him out slowly. Ragnar's dead. William's okay. dead. Duros, you're up. <laughs> okay. Ra sorry, I'm so sorry, Briggs and William. I know. <laughs> nah, it's Frankie's fine. Okay. Yeah, no, we had a. This is honestly. We died. We had, our good, okay. we had a good run. Okay. Yeah. Shit. I. I mean, I'm just gonna try to. You have advantage on this, this attack. Point. Yeah, I guess. I only have one attack. Though. One attack. <laughs> With advantage. With advantage. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh. 
Yeah, I guess. Let's go. Rustage is. That are we and Ragnar hit. in heaven doesn't right hit. now watching this fight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That doesn't even hit. Uh, Me and William are up in heaven playing the One Piece D&D card game. You can yeah, get we'll play this the side. Game. Oh, God. <laughs> I have news about the One Piece D&D card game I'll talk about after the episode's over. Verona, oh. your hey. <laughs> one well, shot. I try to slice at him. They only get the round as it rolls You just have the way. rifle. All, All right. right. I guess I'm just going to shoot at him while he's... Do I have advantage on the shot? Uh, you actually... Yes. Okay. 24! 24! 24, 24. 11 hey. damage is not bad for a level 1! That's, <laughs> that's like pretty good. That's max damage! <laughs> I'm pissed! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Watch this man getting strangled. Bang! Okay. Red Louis is going to make two attacks. One towards Duros and one towards Time Travel Louis. He has disadvantage against Duros. And... Duras has a high armor class, so genuinely oh might not work. And he doesn't. Yeah, he would have hit without his Alright. He's gonna go towards um And he critically what? fails! Oh. He didn't even him. Yeah! Duro saved the day! Holy shit! And he kills himself! <laughs> <laughs> we won as level one! <laughs> Get shit on! Let's go. His, oh. his, oh. well, oh. you guys did. This is what he oh. does. He tries to attack Duros. Duros blocks it off with, with his shield. He goes, ah, never mind. He then stabs, uh, he goes in to stab Blue Louie. Um, and the, the things come out to shoot, but they turn round, <laughs> point at Red <laughs> Louie, and he goes, uh oh, Sacre Bleu, fires it off, and it unloads into Red Louie, and Red Louie's body pff, lays there massacred. No but matter William what. William and Ragnar are still dead. Doesn't matter the timeline, doesn't matter how badass Louie is, he's still Louie, you know? <laughs> oh, God. All right, well, we're dead. Um, Verona and Duras, uh, you guys are back to being, you, un you re level yourselves. I, oh, I wonder if oh, Red, what, if, dead. what if Red Louie had something to do with the explosion? Does that change everything? <laughs> you don't know, but he's here, dead now. So I don't know. Uh, mm. So I guess I, I look towards Doxy and also Jimmy and like, <laughs> we somehow did it. I don't know how this happened. I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> uh, the fucker was not fucking healing himself. He got overconfident. It's rather weird that he didn't do that. Mm. I... The captain, though, he's dead, and so is Ragnar. Is, Ragnar literally just killed himself. That was... <laughs> I even tried to help. <laughs> we are stuck in some sort of time loop, says uh, Louis. Um, I do not remember anything that happens, but I can tell uh, it is uh, a repeating day, is it not? It is. So you also do remember that we got blown up, right? I uh, listen. I do. I do not know. I I I I'm not. Re I don't retain my memories like you guys do. You guys thought about seeing me get killed and coming to help me. I did not. Uh, I don't know how you guys retain your memories, but I do not. Um, Damn. Mm -hmm. I was hoping you could explain more about the situation. We came here to save you, and well, mission accomplished. But we couldn't even save ourselves, apparently. No. Well, this is a we shame. Have two questions. But these are two questions. One, what exactly are you trying so hard to find? I am trying to find, uh, the, uh, have you ever heard of the first ever devil foot? Well, we heard about some sort of magic pineapple. <laughs> that is it. Um, I quickly discerned, uh, when I woke up, I realized what time period I was in. I discerned this must be when the first devil foot was... And I thought that maybe it would be able to help me get back. But I um, I wanted to test the hypothesis, but I thought it would be in this clock tower. It is not. Oh, well, second so question. Know the leads? No. No, at the moment, uh, I guess I die around now in all the other times. So I never learned more than that. But you just got in here. How would you know it's not here? Well, I guess we could check. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other problem is that in a couple hours, this entire city is going to blow sky high, and we don't know where or why. That is a sim. Well, 
We do have other Mui. Maybe he has some clues on his body. Ah, so Might as well true. search him. I just can't yeah. not believe that a Louis would turn so evil. He is not even wearing the signature Louis blue. It is a... <laughs> it's a dark it day all, for Louis All Lecox. Louis wear blue. Oh, Louis. Yeah, star on those red coats. <laughs> it is Do we strange. find anything, like, on his body? Uh, yeah, yeah okay. You want to just ruffle through his pockets, search his pockets? Yeah, just yeah, anything just... that might help um, us out. So, what he has, he obviously has his weapon on him, but he also has a, like a, like a, a badge, almost. Um, like a, you know, almost like a police badge, like an FBI badge would have in mm. his pocket. And it says, um, void police. And then it has Louis LeClock, Agent Louis LeClock. Is this like time patrol, time what? cops? <laughs> Interesting. Time Squad! Remember that old cartoon, Time Squad? <laughs> <laughs> so he was an agent. Hmm. Interesting. It's like a time agency? Do you police. know of this? I do not know. I just... Listen, I... After coming here, I feel like I'm so out of my depth. I thought I had all the answers. I built the time machine I thought I was first, but it seems like other Louis Leclerc's are smarter than I am. And I am just a singular cog in the multiverse, which is the Louis Leclerc timelines wow damn <laughs> well for the rest of this day you're a member of this crew <laughs> i don't like that Got a I... bullet in the back <laughs> sorry you are not the captain this little girl is <laughs> he, she is True, the one the that decides give... even though i am first mate all right still fuckers alive. pizza <laughs> party is technically still the captain let's go fucking rob everyone <laughs> <laughs> and then die? All right, we're now mutiny. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. No! <laughs> I'm fucking... When we die and wake up again, you are never allowed to be captain ever again. No, let's go fucking... Under any circumstance. <laughs> Listen, right, this is the one thing that William Devitt... You guys are fucking pirates. You barely fucking rob anyone. We were pineapple juice together, and it was great. One of the best moments of my life, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go into those fucking casino, get that money... Get all the. I picked Oxy up by her the scruff hey! of her collar. And hey, I'll her. fucking stab you, mate. Listen, I don't care if you have I just armor hold on your her at arm's length. I'm sorry about this, Louis. I don't care if you wear a fucking cod piece. I'm gonna stab your balls off. <laughs> uh, how did you get so? There's angry nothing we can one? even do with the money in the next couple hours, anyway. So it's yeah, but we can... it's gonna go away. But it's the. It's not about the money. It's about the thrill of the heist, the steal, in it. How did you get so corrupt? Listen, it's She's it's hard out there. <laughs> on the streets, you know, you know who my dad and my mom was. <laughs> that is true. Don't you yeah. want to not be them? Oh, they were. They didn't steal shit except for lives, I guess. Right? I ain't doing a murder unless it's necessary. I'm just doing you a just robbery. Said you wanted to stab some people. Oh, stabbing ain't murder. It's just bodily harm. It's about Isn't that the curiosity. Same dad did. Well, how does Doxy feel about my dead body? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Uh, he points. He, she points over to Verona and goes, "It don't fucking matter anyway. These bozos are kind of come back. I want to have my time as captain, <laughs> <laughs> right?" Look, look, look. Duros, just let her. Just let her. We, 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 we prove we solve the situation. We prove with Giza Louis that the moment the explosion happens, we're gonna wake up in a field with some knobhead grinning yes, down like he's a fucking hero. Than we have before. We have ways to gain knowledge. Well, what sort of fucking knowledge are we gonna get? <laughs> well, we know that this badge here has something important on it, right? Nah, I don't find anything important on the badge as I look at it. I mean, it, it's just like an identification identification badge for. Um, uh, Can I memory. take note of the number? Like, what does it have? Like a, a badge number or anything, or is it just say yeah, boy it, police it, and then his name? Yeah, it has a number. It has zero eight. 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 Interesting. Just in case. All right. Well, hopefully you remember that in your noggin, because definitely anything you write down is going to go away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I wrote it down physically to implant it in my brain. Yeah. There you go. All right, that's fair. All right. It's a pretty easy number, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> so what made you think that the fruit, the first fruit was here, Louis? It is uh, when uh, in, in modern time, there was writing about the fruit in the clock tower, and it said it was... Uh, I just assumed... That if there was writing about the fruit in the clock tower, it would be in the clock tower. It's just my first port of call. Um, but I guess he's not here. Um, okay. Sure. Mm. <laughs> sure. 
I mean, we haven't searched, really, but I guess... I mean, we uh, can. I, let's let's go up. It'll take a few hours. Well, but, oh, we, we have got. time to spare, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's go. <laughs> to... All right. So you guys uh, search the entire tower for like two to three hours. Um, and you at least we'll know for next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, at least, yeah. It, yeah, at least we'll know. Yeah, there is and no, also there is no fruit that in this time, tower. Yeah. Um, fuck. Uh, I don't know. Like, I want to ask Louis some questions because we saved his life, but I don't even know, like, what I can possibly do. We need a lead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have one. Qu- I have a question for you, Louis. How exactly would we get out of a time loop now that we all know that we're in one? We need something you. that is powerful enough to manipulate the timeline and drop us. It is like we have been dropped from one river onto another river. And we just need something that's powerful enough to grab us and put us back. Is, does that make so sense? So basically, you need to make another time machine or we potentially need this devil fruit. Well, this is what my theory is. If this is the first devil fruit, it must be powerful enough to at least... Oh, that's a conundrum, Duros. Because we have what? to give that fruit back to the... The blue guy outside. <laughs> yeah, we, we kind of need to. it for ourselves. However, at least we can do something about this. Louis, where were you uh, before this tower so we can warn you next time and save you? I, I say wake up um, in an alleyway in a dumpster. Is it a bit rude? And <laughs> I sort of walk around the town trying to get my bearings, see where I am. Um, I am sort of close to... Um, there is like a shop that sells... Uh, what is it's like when you go outside and it's like like camping supplies the camping store i i wake up around there it's in like the southeast area of the city and i walk over and then i see the clock tower i come to the clock tower Hmm. all right so we gotta warn you before evil louis comes in here and kills us again (laughs) all right do you do you pay attention to what time it is around the time you figure out to go to the clock tower i did you look at that at all I wasn't really thinking about it. I only saw that piece together. It was a loop once I saw you guys well aware of my situation. Um, I don't retain my memories, and that is really annoying. Um, I don't know why you guys do, and I don't. Maybe it's a Louis Leclerc thing, but um, maybe Give it's a key word or something. Something you would only know, so you would trust us immediately. Ah, uh, oui, oui. Um, I don't know. Maybe a deep, dark secret. A deep secret? I don't... That only you would know. Ah. <laughs> uh, Okay, well, um, you could talk about, uh, you know what, if you just came up to me and tell me about the, uh, explain the alternative Louis Leclerc's, I am reasonable enough to believe that, um, and I'm not going to think that you are a liar for that. Talk about, uh, with this red Louis, uh, Void Agent Louis. Um, Void Agent Louis, all right. That's something then. Well, Verona, I really hope. Let our friends come back. Me too. I'm about 90% sure that we're all going to wake up just fine. Seeing My body's like that Lou is here with us right now. Rigor mortis at this point. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm really not going to lie. I was really worried. Are you going to do anything moment? else before the explosion goes off? Or are you just going to wait? <sighs> I mean, is there anything? We need yeah, a lead. Think. I don't know. Well, because we know it blows up in like what? The north... West? Is yeah, that where it was? Northwest and we know it blows up in the northwest. He doesn't know anything about why it would something would blow up. Devil Fruit's not here. We know he's near a camping store in the beginning. Yeah. We know what to say to him to get him to trust us. Okay. He doesn't know anything about Void Louie. Other than that. There's really not much we can do then, yeah. yeah he's about as clueless as we are, sadly. We at least verified nothing was in this tower. Yeah. Yeah. Well, is there any other information that you found when you were studying the story of the first Apple Fruit? Anything that might be relevant? It is a. It was a. A prize possession. Um. It, the 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 literary was very scarce. I feel like, obviously, is the world government tries to get rid of this sort of information. So the bits I saw was little bits and scraps. It was pineapple shaped. I know that as a fact, and I also know that it was very powerful. And it originated from this city, but that is all I know. Don't know what Mm. it does exactly, but... Well, we have reason to believe that it didn't actually originate from this city, but from people who aren't from this planet. Because Ah. they're outside ready to wage war. 
if they don't get this thing back tomorrow. We be. I've heard a lot of all stories about. That. I've heard a lot of stories about wars. It is not just them. Uh, I have seen uh, people talking about lots of other kingdoms coming together to fight um, a big war. But they seem confident here. They seem confident like they can handle it, so... Mm. Anyway, you guys want to sing songs before we die? Uh, <laughs> well, give us your best French song. We haven't heard one in a while. Ah, uh, we, we, <laughs> um, yeah. Come on, dit on blah 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 en français. Come on, dit on blah 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 en français. Oh, Come, on, really blah, 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 blah. Come on, dit on blah blah blah. <laughs> Come on, dit on blah blah blah. Come on, dit on blah blah blah. En français. <laughs> Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, oh, dormez-vous? <laughs> um, Jesus. Où t'es, yes. papa? Où t'es? Où t'es, papa? Où t'es? Hey, Verona. Do you think we should yes, save him? <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder. <laughs> yeah, of course we would. It's Louis. Yeah. Still. <laughs> I feel like we have to, but there's more information we need. I guess when all we get right. back, we should probably also ask Blue Blood if he knows who stole the thing from them in the first place. Maybe that, that could, could give us something. a lead. Somebody to look for. I don't know. That's a good idea. I like that one. I guess you guys, if you're not doing anything else today, you're just sort of sitting around the shake hands, dead bodies of William and Ragnar. Yeah. As the explosion we'll comes oh, again. Wait. Yeah, William. I'll see you in the next life. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever sludge is left of Ragnar. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear birds chirping. And you open your eyes. And there's a man standing there with long blonde hair. Young. Huh. Um, blue and silver armor. He puts his hand down and goes, What are you guys doing lying there? It's dangerous out here. <laughs> Um, Just to be clear, William, we're all here, right? <laughs> William and Ragnar are here. They do wake Ragnar, up. Ragnar, are uh, you? Okay, yay. first of all. Oh, shit. We go uh, again. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, serious question. I mean, I'm serious letting you know. Uh, there is no afterlife. It's just a dark void. So there's that. <laughs> there's that. Uh, what the fuck happened? We will fill you in, but okay, first, yeah, next yeah. time, <laughs> to be, to be continued. <laughs> there we go.